Hey guys, it's day five here in Europe, and uh, we just ate this nice Best Western here, and we're going to go to Verona today. It's going to be really fun. We're going to go to Lake Garda and do a pasta cooking class. So let's do it. Well, guys, we're here in Verona. It's 9:30 in the morning, and uh, we gotta find something to eat before we go three-hour pasta cooking class, which will be really fun. We're making it from scratch. It's gonna be pretty cool. We got an apricot croissant. It looks pretty good. Got some powdered sugar on top. And I'm about to dig into it. It's gonna be good, I bet. Well, we're off to the pasta class. Hopefully, I bet it's gonna be really fun. And good, good food. Prints on, and we're about ready to cook. It's gonna be really fun. Let's get to the pasta making. Messy hands. Mine's coming yeah. along decent, but uh, had some struggles midway through, but got them corrected. Yeah. How'd your dough turn out? Uh, well, pretty good. It was as smooth as a baby's okay. bottom, which is what they yeah, said to make it. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, did a lot better than the pizza see. dough the other night, that's <laughs> for sure. Uh, it ended up being pretty good, though. Yeah, so then we wrapped, rolled it into a ball, wrapped it in plastic, and then she put it over there on the, on the counter. It's starting to cook now. Let's get to it. Go, go, 
go, you got it. Push, push. <laughs> oh yeah, keep going. Get it. Look at it, yes. It is much thicker than you think. Okay, come on. Come on. Fast, come on. A lot of pressure, Jesse, yeah? Mm -hmm. Thank you. That is so good. This is like just incredible. This is just so good. Too good to be true. It looks magnificent. Let's dig in, guys. And here it is, tiramisu. There it is, wow. wow. Well, that tiramisu just is just incredible. I mean, that was the best tiramisu I've had and the best pasta. I mean, that, that's just insane. And we cook, we were helped cook it. She led us through, and uh, this was by far the best meal we've had all trip. Totally recommend coming here. It's called La Safarita. How'd you like that? Oh, that was awesome. I know. It's actually pretty easy to make pasta. Yeah, it is. We are now racing, like literally racing back to the car. To yeah, we've got a boat ride at Lake Garda. It's a own to, uh, beautiful out today. Just, yeah. we got perfect weather to yeah. do this thing. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's great out. Yeah. So we've got about a 45 minute drive over to Lake Garda from Verona here. So, all right, we'll see you guys there. All right, see ya. So guys, we're at Lake Garda now. We've crossed off the list of seeing a Ferrari, Lamborghini, or any Italian car like that. And uh, it took us a while to find a parking spot because this is a very touristy oh location. Gosh, but uh, we got our boat. Here we are, exiting out of the harbor. Lake Garda. Lake Garda in Severion. Yep. And the castle is right back there. We got We're going to go around it. Fancy castle. And it's beautiful out today. There's a lot of people here. Yeah. It's pretty touristy, but uh, I can see why though. Yeah, it's beautiful out here. It's a little bit hot, but the sun's not burning us up. So it's nice. So Lake Garda is actually 50 kilometers long all the way down there. And uh, how deep is it? 360 meters at its deepest. Wow, way down there I believe too. And uh, it's very beautiful out here and sunny. It's about it's really nice. kilometers wide. That's pretty cool. It's really nice out today. We're just enjoying the breeze out here on the boat. Oh yeah. It's uh, chilly, but not terrible. Okay. I might surf or swallow ski in it. In the hottest part of summer? No, like I would probably get in now. Okay. And it's mid-September. Wow. That mountain over there is 2,000 meters high and uh, it is uh, meant for skiing in the winter and it's an inactive volcano, which is really interesting. I mean, it's really hot right now. It's mid-September and uh, skiing doesn't seem possible, but apparently it is here in Northern Italy. Right over there on the top of that hill, next to the beach is a Roman fortress that is 2,000 years old. It's just incredible and the beach is just beautiful. What's it named again? Uh, Jamaica Beach, because of like the white sand. Okay, Jamaica, we have the Bob Sled King. So the reason bubbles are coming up out of the water is because the heat from the volcano over there, it's inactive, but its heat flows into the water and it causes the bubbles to rise at the bottom of the lake.
that castle is 700 years old from here in Lake Garda. And it's pretty cool. It's nice and towers above all else. Wow, now that was cool. Lake Garda, totally come check it out. It's a little touristy and a little packed, but definitely worth your time to try and find a parking spot. It's beautiful, sunny, and uh, calm. And it's really nice. And here we are, entering into the old castle and fortress. So, uh, we got a problem here. This is three scoops. We've been getting three scoops this whole trip because they're a little bit smaller here in Europe. But, uh, this is the American scoop. This is the first American scoops we've had here. And uh, they've got hundreds of flavors here. I just got three scoops of the Nutella because that's the hazelnut, like a Nutella flavor, and I love it. Got a green tea wagon down there. Um, sounds like what I would have done when I was younger. Well, if I learned anything today, it's that um, Lake Garda is the king of gelato. I mean, literally. You will have gelato places right next to each other that are like 30 feet long of tall gelato places that are like two gallons each bucket. It's insane. I mean, if you like gelato, come here, but I, it's, it's too much gelato for me. I'm gonna tell you that. I got three scoops and it's completely different than the amount of scoops they give you here compared to other places. I'm stuffed and I'm still trying to finish it. It's time to leave Lake Garda now and head along the coast to our hotel though. We're gonna stop at some places along the way like restaurants and stuff along Lake Garda. All right guys, we're here in the city of mountain bikes, just bikes in general, but it's mountain bike heaven, I'll call it that. We got the mountains in the background and uh, we've got five bike shops in one, and within a hundred yards basically. Hey, what's the town name? Nago Torbele. We got mountain bikers up here. Some of them are in, on e-bikes, but uh, we got a real mountain biker up there. Oh man, the bikes. Oh, there it is. Those mountain bikes. Yes. Now these are race, race ready bikes. 50 feet and we've ran into another bike shop. It's got Orbeas in here, which is cool. Okay, any type of biker should be coming to this town. You got gravel bikers, roadies, you got mountain bikers, cyclocross riders. They've got even shuttle tours for bikers specifically. Oh my gosh, this place is crazy. I just can't wait to see what else we're into once we get into Switzerland and Austria. Those are going to be probably even better. Wow. We're on the coast of Torbole and uh, it's really nice. That's like Garda right there and you can't even see the other side of it. That's how long it is. 50 kilometers. Yeah, it's huge. The uh, mountains are pretty beautiful around here too. Um, and, uh, the weather's pretty nice. Everything's good. We haven't found a place to eat yet. That's what's next. But we found bike shop. And uh, I think it'll be our last official dinner meal in Italy for the trip. So that's pretty big. Hopefully we find something good. Yeah. I'm sure we will. Yeah. Let's try and search for something. Let's do it. Is this thing? I think it's a Schwalbe vending machine. Mm. If only it was Maxis, then it would be a hundred million times better. That's got, it's got Fox Live valve. Oh my gosh. X01. That is 
Classic. What do we got here? Okay, it's called the Buddha Max. It's like, uh, I don't know, cheese and sauce and tomatoes and basil. And then she told me to add ham. So it's like prosciutto ham. And then she asked if I wanted spices. I was like, oh, sure. So she brought out this like olive oil. Looks like oil that has spices in it. So I'm about to try that. And then we found this here too. It's pretty cool. It's a uh, galvanina. And it's like a uh, sparkling drink with real fruit in it. My favorite pizza in Italy, the prosciutto e funghi. Yum. For the final time, we have the color of vanilla. Oh wow. That's big Greek salad. The food is big here. The I'm glad we I'm I'm glad we split these carbonara. I mean, I'm sad that's gone. We're leaving off for Leo Gang Austria tomorrow, which is gonna be insane. I know what you're already thinking. It's gonna be really fun. You might already know what we're doing. It's sad this is our last day with the carbonara here in Italy. Okay, we got Lake Garda water right here. This is amazing. Lake Como and Lake Garda water. I don't know which one tastes better. We should, do, we should order some in and do a double blind taste test. That's what we need to do. Yeah, we should do a blind taste test of Lake Como and Lake Garda. We should do just every water in Italy. That's what we should do. Aquapana. We should try and guess which one is the best and which one is which. Wow, this restaurant is good. Totally check it out if you're in the area. It's really delicious and a nice environment, friendly waiters. So uh, we're gonna head back to the hotel tonight and sleep before we head out into Austria tomorrow in the Dolomites. Let's go. What turned into a week of seeing no Ferraris or any Lambos just turned into uh, a day of seeing two in one night or one afternoon. It's really cool, but it's a nice evening here. The sun has set basically. It's kind of dark out now. But uh, we'll see ya.